them. Yes. Oh, balls. I can hear another one. Let's take the lock off for a second. Oh, energy, energy, energy. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Yes, we're back for more. I'm gonna try to do these daily, guys, and putting in some seven days to die as well. I'm really sorry about yesterday not having seven days to die. It's just I recorded the Conan, then I fell asleep, and then, anyway, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, you know all about it. And if you're not following me on Twitter, on, t on yes, on Twitter, and that's where I share my nudes and everything else. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter, then you're doing something wrong with your life. You should do that. Anyway, let's have a look and see what we're actually doing in the moment. I found out a couple of things since we played last, which was only yesterday. I made a press, a fluid press and a dryer. So after we left off yesterday, I kind of played around a little bit with some tools and I checked out some guides on the wiki and all that. And look at this beauty which is absolutely amazing so with some bark yeah, it's fuel I don't know if you can use other fuel as well but it works with bark anyway you can turn wood into dry wood now the benefit is that dry wood has so far the highest burn time of the ingredients I have now it doesn't mean that there's nothing out there with a higher burn time yeah but basically wood burns for 10 seconds yeah so if we take just some simple wood actually I want to know how much bark burns for this is 10 seconds okay if we use coal, let's just wait until this is finished. If we use coal, we get, I think, 25 seconds. Or 35 seconds, okay? But if you use dried wood, now, mind you, it takes some time to actually make, okay? So, but if we, I'm in combat, that's why um, I'm so slow. But if we use um, dried wood, let's go down here and check it out. Dried wood burns for... 48 seconds that's 13 seconds longer so and the benefit of making dried wood is you also get resin from it which is amazing because resin is something that i came across i don't need it yet directly for any ingredients but i came across it when i was looking at some of the things to make later on in the game i was like oh how am i gonna get resin there you go now you can also use uh, branches to make um dried wood like one wood gives you two dried wood and a branch gives you one dried wood but you don't get resin as a, as a side effect whatever you want to call it now does bark actually burn as well i did i haven't checked let me see actually what is bark is bark burning as well is that fuel oh 20 seconds so there you go wood bark coal dried wood that's the order brilliant now the other thing that i played was was this fluid press because look what happens when we put coal into a fluid press it makes tar it uses 15 coal to make one tar okay there you go now you can take that back out excellent so i have a lot of tar right now because I'm, i took a lot of hide and just let it run through i collected a lot of bark so you can see here that um i have a lot of tar right now so and that is good because we're gonna need at least 300 for our next um level of wheel pain pain wheel now the fluid press also does uh, why is there a stone in there uh, the fluid press also apparently um meat oh maybe i have to use more putrid meat so let me just pick up a lot more actually i think it also takes seeds so seeds make oil yes oil is what we needed for the other upgrade kit remember yesterday we talked about the upgrade kit and how we couldn't make one for the weapons that one that looks like a bag well we needed oil and to make oil you use seeds in the in the in the press there you go now it does stupid you over encumbered it uses 15 as well so it uses 15 seeds to make one oil there you go that's that, that's how you do it there we go now we got some nice oil so we learned something new today. Well, I did anyway. So th there you go. And by the way, you also left me that information in the comments. So thank you so much for doing that because there was no guarantee that I'm going to play longer after I recorded and trying to figure that all out. But that's what you have to do. You have to invest into things. Now, there's also uh, your berries, I think. You can also put berries in there. And berries make, I think, berry, berry punch, punch or whatever it's called. Let me see. It's all stuff that we don't need yet, but it's good to know how to make it for when we need it. So, yeah, there you go. It makes desert berry pulp, yeah? Now, oh, wow, it made actually quite a few. And it also, in the dryer, 
works as well. So if we look um, putting berries in the dryer, we get dried berries and dried berries, I suppose, are a good side of food. Now, what I also noticed is that if you put your meat in here, <laughs> anyway, um, if you put your meat in here, you also um, get dried meat and dried meat gives you 22 saturation of food saturation and uh, meat gives you only 16. Now what confused me when I did that first is dried meat is of low grade while grilled meat is of medium grade. Now I thought because this is low grade, it is worse, but it seems to be better. And so I don't know exactly what this grade is referring to. I don't know. I always thought high grade was better, but it doesn't seem to be the case, which is really confusing. Anyway, we're going to leave this in here. We're going to let this go. And we want to definitely put um, a little bit more bark in there. Now, let's get un unencumbered because we want to put some 50 woods in here. There we go. Let's put 50 wood in here. And um, let's sort it by weight so we can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And do them. Actually, they're burning really fast. So we're going to put the rest in there as well. There you go. Excellent. And in this one, we put the rest. Nice. And we might as well put some stone in there as well for good measure. Excellent. And now we can put the rest of the stone in here and some coal. It will not go. It will not burn as long, but hey, hey, there we go. And coal. Beautiful. All right. So now this is making bricks and this is making iron. Now I have a constant, every time I log in, I go for my iron grind because the respawn of the nodes seem to be a bit weird on the server. I don't know why. They seem to be uh, stuck on default time, no matter what we set them to. And they can take quite long. So what I do is I go for a grind then put a couple of hundred in here when I'm finished. And uh, like here, let's put another 300 in there and make another uh, 300. Um, of those let me see because we need a lot of them as well in the long run so what i like to do is just queue them all up or 150 takes half and uh, that's it so and i leave 100 iron bar in there for for crafting or something this is the upgrade kit by the way that we needed for oil and it applies to the weapons which is great now the next thing that i need to figure out is i need to make a bow so we need to get feathers so today what we're going to focus on after all this waffle is we're going to get try to get feathers so we explore into either the swamp or we're going to explore in the forest and see what we get because I also need to make thick leather for my next armor set, which means we need to find bears or wolves or something a little bit bigger than what we have here in the desert. So what we are going to do is we are probably walking along this river and see if we can find an entrance into this area here somewhere. I think this might be an entrance here. We also, oh, what is that? The hunter's view. Um, I talk about this in a second. Um, we also can see if we can make our way into the swamp area, which would be very nice to actually see what's going on there. But I think I want to go into the forest area and then explore a little bit over here as well. Maybe we're going to find an entrance here, which is close to that, and then we can see both areas. That would be pretty awesome. And um, this here is the spider cave. So I went not into the spider cave. I went to the spider cave just to snoop around and to see what is there. And um, we got a couple of uh, spiders killed. We got a little bit of ichor, which which you also can make from, I think, if you put in here putrid meat, but more than one, it makes ichor or something like that. So there is a way of making actually ichor, so you don't need to constantly kill spiders for it. Um, anyway, so loads of things we found out. I thought I'd keep you updated. Let me know if you want me to do this, because I don't have an issue just not showing you these things at all. If you already know them, if you say, dude, just move on with the game, you know, then I do that. Okay, but um, so this time was a bit of an excessive um, handover of information of things I found out. But let me know if you want to see that in the future or just get right into the game. And, um, you know, whatever. I don't mind either way. Now, one of the things I want to do before we go exploring is I want to upgrade my Trunjan and my Whippity Whip. And uh, because I was told by you guys in the comments as well that no matter how good you are, the Trunjan is just not really strong enough. So you need uh, the Iron Trunjan, which is already going to make a huge difference. So we're going to make the torture workbench now which is something you unlock with the second level of uh, wheel of pain so there we go and we are going to place that we don't have any more room in here <laughs> so because it's torture stuff i'm just gonna put it outside for now we will eventually buy a uh, build a proper base yeah but this base here is literally just to you know 
it, it's it's just to get things out to get things done to look at everything and just to get a feel for all the things we do i have to figure out the farming thing i know that in the planter i need to put compost but to make compost we need to i don't know we need to put uh, putrid meat and like this is one of the versions yeah but i don't know what the third part is i don't know what that third part bone meal that's what it is yes oh yes that's what it was we need a grinder I can't believe I didn't remember that. Where is the grinder? There we go. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Because the grinder... What do we need for it? 50 stone and 10 branches. Hell, we can do that. Yeah, thank you. 10 branches, 50 stone. Yeah, give me 50 stone here, please. Thank you. And uh, give me 10 branches. There we go. Oh, look at that for handy. And now make the grinder. And we're also going to have to make a fish trap at some point to dry fish in the dryer, which is good food as well. So let's see how big that is. There we go. It's actually quite small. I think we can leave that in here. I just don't want to put any more in front of the bed. So I'm happy with squeezing it in here. There we go. Because we can access all that as well, so it's a bit cramped. Now, in the grinder, we can now take bones. We can use a lot of stuff, actually, in the grinder. Let me see. I think. Let me try ichor. Let me try this. And let me dry the putrid meat as well. And see. So, if we put in putrid meat, nothing happens. Okay. If we put in seeds... Oh, look at that. A spice. Nice. I didn't even know that. Spice. Nice spice. Five spice. <laughs> okay, bark. Nothing. Leather. Nothing. Um, steel. Iron bars. Nothing. Cannot be grounded. Grind. Icker. Nothing as well. Okay, so this doesn't work. Now, but what we need this for mainly is the bones. Actually, we're gonna try chitin as well because I think it will use it will use leather or whatever. So let me just put them ten in there. Yeah, it makes bone meal out of chitin, which um, is ten, so one pair. And when we have bones, let me see, it makes one pair as well, but it's just faster. Oh, it actually makes more. Wow, it makes a lot more out of bone. That is pretty awesome. Okay, so bones is what we want to do. Now having that we should be able to go outside god we're figuring things out guys i hope you don't mind let's put the putrid meat in there and let's put the bone meal in there yes and it's now making compost brilliant which is something we need so this in the moment has um just plain seeds in it from grass you know this one here just has um it has aloe vera in it okay so that's it it just it just has plain aloe vera in it but we need to get aloe vera seeds but for aloe vera for for getting seeds out of flowers that you pick up you need to use a sickle okay the only flowers you get for free in the game is the ones from the plants there we go look at that nice and now we have a compost so let's put a compost in here and it's making plant fiber look at that that's nice now, I don't know how long one compost lasts, but it's it's amazing. We figured it out. It's absolutely fantastical. Okay, I made the new trunjin. And I can't make the leather because it, we need thick leather for that. And, um, oh, this is just leather. That's the rawhide one. Oh, we have that. I can make that. I have, I have leather. I have loads of leather. Actually, we're going to take some of that. And we take it with us and bring it over here. Now, again, we are on a server where we don't annoy each other now if somebody snacks something like half of something that's fine you know, it's not a big deal anyway uh, 25 of that has to go to me or actually 30 goes to me let's craft that quickly and now this is a tool which we could upgrade for more durability sorry this here so this one i was able to upgrade from 300 to 350 so i think we can upgrade I think it's this one no that's the armor reduction kit it's not armor so what we're actually looking at is the reinforcement kit to make weapons and armor. yeah okay let's craft that 
And now we should be able to put that on. Oh, we can. That is interesting. So maybe this is considered more of a tool like the other tools, which means efficiency. We should be able to do the efficiency upgrade on it. Yeah, so we should be able to make one of those. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Which one is the rawhide one? There. We can't do that either. That is interesting. So what is it considered? It's not a tool. It's not a weapon. It's maybe it is a weapon. I don't know. Weapon damage, but it doesn't do really any damage. It does no damage and no penetration. So maybe it's just nothing. And well, it's a tool. It's, co it's considered a tool. So I'm really surprised that we can't apply a tool upgrade to it. That is interesting. Let me know if you know if you can upgrade your bindings, like, you know, that you uh, get your thralls with. It would be interesting to see. Anyway, let's put the fiber bindings in, and these are the ones we're going to take with us um, to... Yeah, they have, they have, they're about yeah, twice as durable. Anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly build an altar. Oh, we need the stones. 360 do I not have? Oh, I'm missing 100 stone. We have so much stone. There we go. Let's quickly build an altar. There we go, because we haven't built one yet, and that is one of the things you usually do first. Not because you really need it, need it, but it's like, you know, it's nice. It's a nice to have. It's lovely. Okay, so let's put that in here. It is ginormicans. Okay, it is quite ginormous. Okay, let me see. Um, can we place it anywhere here? Overlapping with another structure. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm gonna put it here. Would that work? Not enough contact with ground. Overlapping with another structure. Okay, you're really testing me now. Oh, here we go, here we go. There was a little bit of a flicker, I think. Ah, there we go. Nice, okay, good. I like it, look at this, nice and neat. Now, I think we can upgrade this from within to a blooded altar. Now, we need bricks, which we have, sharpened, which would we have, ice shards. Oh, okay, so ice shards we can make from ice. I don't have ice yet. We need to go into the frozen area to get some ice, I believe. And then we can make ice shards as well. Brilliant, which is arrows. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm assuming they, they slow down the enemy or something. And then we need also manifestation of seal. Now, the manifestations, as far as I remember, you get by constantly crafting in here. So we either making arrows or converting ice to recipes, whatever. That way you get um, manifestations. And you need them, obviously, to upgrade this. Now, this is a raw frost hatchet. Hmm. 15 iron bars and a branch. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Yeah, now we got some zeal. Show your religious zeal. Excellent. So we got one zeal. But we also got a hatchet. So what is that? A hatchet dangerously caught to the touch. Um, let me see. It is said Jameer sends these sacred tools out into the world of champions for champions to find, which which such a hatchet one can harvest the ice of winter itself. Oh, nice! And use such material to craft garments and weapons. So this is actually a tool we need if we want. Um, oh, we put the efficiency tool on it. Bam! Look at that. Nice, more efficient. I love it. <laughs> so there you go. And yeah, that's it. Brilliant. We did it. We did a thing. It's awesome. All right, let's go up to the end of the river and see what we can do. I would like to go as much over there as possible. So we're going to explore this area and then try to find a way over here. If we can find an entrance sooner, we, we might as well just walk through that. Now, we're probably going to kill a lot of things if we can. Is Wow, you have a range. See what they drop as in with the skinning knife, with the axe, with the pickaxe, things like that. I also need actually to get some height, I just noticed. Mm, okay, so let's let's take care of this dude. Okay, so lock is Q by the way. But you see what happens with Q, when I when I walk sideways, it actually walks around in a circle, which is something that I don't like, because 
without going Q, I can literally go sideways, which helps me a lot more when I want to dodge out of the way. So dodging sideways actually moves away from the enemy. Yeah, like as you can see here. But if I'm locked, if I move sideways, it actually doesn't really dodge as far away. So it is a bit annoying. Now it is handy enough when you, um... come on. There you go. It's ha oh, Chinimaka Toto died. Now it is handy enough. Yeah, mind you, but it is something that I still have to get used to because I find that I dodge into the enemy more. So I just wanted to mention that because a lot of you have asked me why am I not doing this? And am I having caps lock on? Yeah, I do. Um, there we go. Now I actually need... There we go. I actually need uh, some height. No, just height, thank you. Now we can throw all that out anyway, but um, I want to make a roll. I think it's a roll. Let me see. A rawhide bed roll um, for sleeping on the ground or a mattress leaving twigs. Okay, yeah, we're going to do that. And we're going to craft... How heavy are they? I'm on 37%, so can I craft... Are they stacking? Okay. Okay, we're going to take five. Now we're gonna drop that and we're gonna drop that again. So we had 35, which is good. So what health do we have? I don't get this. Sometimes I'm on 403 health and sometimes I'm... Is it when I'm eating? Yes, look! It gives me actually more health than I have. That is amazing. I didn't know that because it was confusing the hell out of me. I was like, why do I sometimes have 403 health? That was so confusing. Anyway, we're going over here. This is the spider cave, which we're not going to go into yet. It's creepy as balls. When we're going in there, we're going to literally make sure we have so much iron that we can make our weapons and tools again. Because going into a cave solo means that you die. You pretty much want to be able to write off everything here that you just uh, um, dropped. Yeah? Unless you have some weapons where you can say, okay, fair enough. Let's go in. We, we did a stupid thing and fell or something. Yeah, let's run in and get it. Okay, so we have loads of aloe vera here, and I'm just gonna follow down this river, guys, and every now and then I will just blend or cut back in, see how we get on, but I think there's a rhino up there, actually, which could give us thick leather. I think there's a rhino. Oh! Alright, I nearly got killed, guys. I had to lock back in. I got disconnected, so sorry for this really weird cut. If there is one, I try to kind of make it look all pro and seamless, so you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, lost the connection and my internet was down. If you follow me on Twitter, you know, because I just uh, um, mentioned it, that there might be a lack of videos tomorrow if they don't get the connection back. It was down for about 20 minutes, like it's the longest ever that it was down. Kind of got me worried. Anyway, locked back in, got attacked by these two monkey spiders, and um, let's see what we're gonna get from them. So if we use the pickaxe, we get um, Iker and Chitin. If we use the axe, we get Feral Flesh. So there's your standard. And if we use the knife, I think... Oh, whoops, where is it? Why is it invisible? Why is the knife invisible? Wow. That is... Okay, that was a weird glitch. Anyway, if we use this... Now, you do get different things if you left-click or right-click, I noticed. Yeah, so if we left-click, I think we get only Chitin. But if we right-click... Oh, we only get chitin in this case as well. For what I noticed with the um, animals is that with left click I get only height, but with right click I get height and their bony things, whatever it is, their horns or something. I also saw a little thing here, which I don't know what it is. What is this? Okay. Is there something on the ground? There is. <gasps> there is. Oh, Ophirian Journal. Oh, I just got loads of things that I learned. That is awesome. I scribbled these words with the dread fear that they may be my last. Nightmare creatures have come boiling forth from the nearby cave, screaming and attacking my companion and myself. So I decided to sit down quickly and write a note as we get devoured. No, okay. Brega beat the first wave back, but at the cost of our precious food supplies being stolen by the creatures. Braga and I have become so close on this journey that even a slight shift of weight conveys an entire conversation when he looked at me. I knew he wanted me to say, to stay and guard the camp while he descended into the cave and retrieve our supplies. So here I crouch, nervously awaiting his return. Addendum. Turns out he actually wanted me to follow him into the cave and help him. I just didn't get the message. I was just like, good luck. And he died a horrible death. And now I have headaches from the cloud he, from the cloud he gave me. 
Okay, so that is pretty cool. So we can read it again. Learned Bicom, learned Kneel, learned Prey Sitting. What? Is this like new emotes? Oh, look at that. No, they're still the same emotes. Conversation. Oh, look at that. Nice. Do we have different types of sitting? We do. Look at that. And we have different types of worship. Yes, that is what we just learned. Look at that. By Crumb. <laughs> anyway, that is pretty awesome, guys. Um, if you need spider webs, all you have to do is go literally to the entrance of this cave. There is no spiders, and you pick up a couple of webs like on the ground there. Like that's how I got mine, and I didn't go any further than that. So let's continue back on our voyage, and let's see if we can kill this rabbit. Whoa, whoa, monkey spider, monkey spider. Oh, no, 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 go away. Oh, do you see that ninja move? The spider got nothing on me. Okay, so let's see if we right click on that. No, 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 right click. There we go. We only got hide, no bones, nothing. Okay, maybe you're just a bit of a small rabbit. And here, there we go. We got this right click. We got some gossamer, whatever, the spider webs, basically. But right now, this is actually very light, so I'm gonna keep them. But this is heavy as balls, so I'm gonna be dropping all these. We can always get them again, so I'm not really too worried about this right now. I just don't want to be all clunked up with weight, you know, like for our journey. Anyway, this is pretty cool. We're figuring things out, guys, and this is what it's all about. Like I said before, if you want me to not show you all these things, and you just gotta go, I don't care what you get, just move on, get on with the game, then just let me know, okay? In the comments. And I will do my best to totally ignore you. <laughs> anyway, remember, follow me on Twitter for the nudes. I see you guys in a second. Ooh, look at that, pretty flowers. They weigh nothing. We're gonna pick up loads of them. And there's some iron as well, nice. There's another entrance into the cave. I think it's an entrance into the same cave. Oh, this is the Scutlet shortcut. Because I remember doing the cave, I think we did it with John Bain and Vintage Beef at the time. Yeah, I think I think it was these guys that we did it with. Um, and we came out this end after doing the whole cave. So let's see how it's marked at the map. So you can get in here, go all the way through it, and then you come out here. That is actually a pretty epic... Um, thing i hope we can do that solo as well that should be pretty amazing okay gotta be careful this is little this is croc valley here there's a couple of crocodiles i don't want to tangle with except especially the big guy I actually tried him out there's one across from where we have our base and holy balls he's a big guy uh, he, he can't get damaged i even got his little shield or whatever you want to call it his stamina thing the blue bar down all the way and still didn't get any damage anyway we're trying to make a fishing trap to see how that works because i'm in quite deep water here so let me see. Much of you want to know the ice so straps and nets are woven from various thought fibers and 18 months pursuit of tasty fish. Okay, so how do we use it? Okay, let me see. Do we go under Oh look, we can actually just put it anywhere underwater. Okay. Oh, I placed it. That's it. Look at that. And do I now Oh, Genie Mac, that body gave me a fright. So I just looted or something? Well, we leave it here. And if we remember to get it, we're going to have a look and see if we get any fish. That's pretty cool. I would assume it takes some time. So let's get up here. I, I just made my way up the waterfall. And now we're heading over to the side of the wall to see what we have here. I also want to find the giant hole. I wonder if that is still a thing. There's somewhere here, I remember, there is a gigantic hole in the ground. I think it's this one, actually. We should check that out because that is actually a few into one of the dungeons where the entrance is like somewhere crazy, like over here or something. I think it's over here. And you get into a dungeon and the hole literally lets you look into the arena where you fight a massive boss. And um, I think we even did that at the time or tried to and we just... Um, we didn't do it. We died. <laughs> anyway, so let's get close to what we have over there. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. There, I can see trees, man. I can see trees up there in the gap. There's a lovely gap over there. We could potentially climb up there because our armor is pretty light. But let's see what our normal way looks like. There's a gap here. There's This looks like an official entrance, uh, but it's all the way up there. 
Okay. Loads of iron. Chaos Mouth. Ooh. That sounds pretty frightening. I hope you guys don't mind all the exploring. I love exploring in these games. I probably should actually place randomly a, bag, a sleeping bag of mine. I don't want to die. <laughs> okay, there seems to be no animals here, but... I think... I was watching Cage's video, and I think this is where the guys climbed up, actually. I wasn't looking for that, but now just that I came past it and it said um, Chaos Mouth, I remembered them doing this. So I'm going to see if I can do the same. And I think we might find their house because I don't know. They did a cut, I think, in the video, but uh, they should be pretty close by. And so she watched upon the country she lay siege on to take over and make them kneel down in slavery. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not very good at making up the shit. But anyway, <laughs> this seems to be all right. Um, look at the amount of iron, baby. Look at that. This seems to be all right, the area the other guys were walking into. So we might get lucky and find Cage's house. That would be pretty awesome. I think we're officially now... Oh, look at that. Nice. We're in the forest, baby. We're officially in the forest. And there's so much iron. Oh, my God. They're, it's like begging to be built in. Oh, I can see buildings, guys. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Yeah, this is the raining area. It's always raining here. This is so cool. Now, we have PvP turned on. So if the guys... I don't want to show you actually the base. Because I, I'm not going to show you the base. And that is because I haven't spoken to the guys. And I don't know what they actually want to show you in their own episodes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to respectfully walk past their base. And um, not going to show it to you. Because... I don't want to spoil anything because you might be watching their videos and then they talk about things and they go, oh, we already seen it. So I'm going to have to talk to them first to see if that's the thing we're going to do. So let's see what we have on animals here. But yeah, it's good to see that they're actually here. I'm going to see if I can go somewhere near the lake here in the middle or whatever that is. That looks pretty badass. If there is an iron deposit near there, that would be pretty cool. I just want to, oh, look at the flowers. Oh, this is a new flower. Nice. We're going to take that and that and that and that and that. I can't take up the little white ones. Oh, it's lightning. What is that tower up there? That's Oh, there's more flowers. No, no. Oh, is this is just plant fiber. No. Devil squat. Oh, what what happened? Okay, I just got to fright there. Oh, look at that elk. Oh, he's majestic. Uh-oh. Woo! Balls. I actually don't have my my weapon attached. Oh. Okay, let's see what you got. Wow! He has health up to the wazoo. He's going to take some time to hurt. There we go, baby. It's all about timing. It's all about timing. Boom! Bam! Okay, okay. There we go, there we go. Oh, yes! I'm gonna gain like two levels killing this thing because I think I'm all oh, crap my mouse. Why is my mouse not working? Okay, I made I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Okay, I, fo I forgot I'm locked on because when you're locked on, you um, you lose the kind of the freedom to move. So you see now the mouse works again. Yeah, yeah, I'm a bit confused about that. There we go. Nice. Yes! Oh, this is beautiful. Oh! I don't even want to test what happens when I get hit because I have no bed roll down. There we go. Nice. Oh, yes! Oh! I think that's it. Come on. One more. One more big hit. Nice! 
Whew. No, we're not gonna take the knife. The actually, can we take him? Hit him once with the pickaxe. Okay, thick height. Yes, that's it, baby. We got our thick height. Ooh, look at that. That is awesome. We got fur. We got. Oh, look at that. We don't need that. Man. You know what? We can carry it right now. So we're gonna carry it. We're gonna carry it like a boss. That is awesome. Okay, let's place actually a little um, bed down here. Just a, just a little roll. Um, I probably should have that on me at all times. Huh? Oh. Spawn point updated. Now, when I die, I think I can choose between a bed roll and a bed. I think that's how it works. But at least we're close by. So if we die, there's a wolf here as well. Let's check out the wolf. Ooh. Ooh. He's mad. He's mad. Oh, he's not as strong as the elk. The elk is badass. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. Bam. Back. Ah, uh, you're stuck on the rock, dude. You're lost. That's it. You're dead. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna get from you. Probably thick hide as well. Wolf pelt. Nice. Okay, let's do it. Right click so we can get... Oh, it's just got me wolf pelt and that's it. Yes. Wolf pelt. There we go. Nice. That is pretty epic. So we're getting loads of... And I think wolf pelt actually turns in the leather thing to thick leather instead of leather. What is that glowing bush down there? I'm really intrigued by that. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, 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 oh. Let's be careful. I think there's a wolf's den. I think there's actually a cage, uh, a cave. Whoa. Okay, I don't know if I want to take two wolves. That would probably be very detrimental to my health. But I kind of want to get down here, though. Oh, I wonder, though. Yeah, we separated them. That's good. We separated them. So let's make sure only one is following us. There we go. Yes! Oh, balls. I can hear another one. Let's take the lock off for a second. Oh, energy, energy, energy. There we go. They actually don't hurt that bad. Lock on. There we go. Yes! Oh! Bam! Yes! Oh, we are so amazing. Not to sell myself short here or anything, but we are so amazing right now. <laughs> we leveled up so much. Just, oh man, this is, this is pretty boss. I like it. Okay, so I want to check. There's so many wolves. Oh, there's more wolves up there. Oh my balls. You know what, guys? I'm out of here. Come on. I'm out of here. I'm gonna see if I can actually climb up here. And then I'm out. And I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. This is long enough. I hope you guys had a good time watching the episode. I know we did a lot of uh, waffling in the beginning about the things I did and things that I found out. But I really like doing that, you know, figuring things out without boring you too much and how I'm gonna figure it out and then just show you what I... What I uh, uh, found out um, so yeah let me know in the comments if you like that or if you want me to get rid of that or do less of it and exploration I really love it we're gonna explore explore this area a little bit more next time I hope you guys are gonna enjoy that and if you don't want to see the exploration let me know as well I'm, I'm doing the videos the way I like but it's important to me to figure out what you guys like to see anyway I hope you guys had a good time watching the episode if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope I see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming. So what is this this little hut here? Do 
we have here? Just in case. Looks like Thralish. Okay. Oh, Stormwatch camp. It is a camp. I think we can do a camp. Oh, we got it. We got a warrior. We got a warrior. He's interested. He's interested. Oh, he's only level two. Are you sure you want to do this, Nordheimer? You sure you want to do this? Okay. 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 Your shield is gonna be destroyed now in a second. Okay. I want you. I want you, man. I want you. Ooh, what do you have? Absent. Okay. Steel bars! Oh, yes! Okay, we're gonna drop a little bit of that fur to... Oh, no, we have loads of weight. Actually, we also leveled up a little bit, so let's... Um, uh, no. We're gonna have to get to this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes! And now the rest in vitality. Oh, yes. And now vitality will be next. Passive heals, baby. Passive heals. Okay, there's, there's our friend. Let's see if he's... Oh, he's gonna come. He's gonna come. Longest outro ever, I know. But we want to get in there. We want to get in there and check this place out. We want to check this place out. Come on. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. What do you have? What do you have for me? Oh, more steel, resin, glass. Oh, I, ta I take all of it. So I'm just totally ignoring you. I'm so rude. What level are you? You're, oh, you're level one. I feel really bad. You finish? Okay. Oh, cut in half. Not good. <gasps> Pickaxe, steel pickaxe, steel bars, oh my balls, you guys are amazing. Oh, uh oh, is it only the one? Do you know what? I'm gonna do you like that. What are you? A Nordheimer fighter. Okay, okay, you know what? Okay, okay, we might need the shield again. Come on. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, we gained a level. What do we have? Pick it up, pick it up. Oyster flesh, pick it up, pick it up. Stone, don't care. Okay, let's see if we can find a treasure chest here. This is a pretty badass village, guys. And I know longest outro, but that's okay. <gasps> there, can I access these? Oh, no. That should be a thing that you can access their things, their items, their cool things. Can you destroy it? No, we can't. Oh, man. Come on. Where's the loot, baby? There has to be a chest. Oh, you can't access the fire either. Oh, man. Oh, they have more of the flowers. Yeah, we, we take those. Yeah, we take those. There you go. Nice. Oh, we got some seeds as well, so we can plant them and grow them in our planters. There we go. Nice. Okay, they have kegs. Okay, interesting. Let me see. Oh, do we have a boss in here or something? Ooh, what is... That? Yes! Oh, baby. Hardened steel bandages, iron bars. Oh, my balls. This is amazing loot, guys. Amazing loot. Wow. Okay, this is so cool. We're going to have to find a place here, guys, to build a base in. And what I have in mind, oh, look at that majestic lava. Oh, I can't, I just, we have to stop playing. This is Stormwatch. We need to be near water. I wonder if we can build a base near here. That would be so amazing. So let, for now, let's put a, put a bed down and call it a day. This is just, whew. wow, there we go. Previous bedroll was destroyed, nice. Oh, 